politics tonight, and many Republicans are embarrassed by the only GOP candidate in the primary for the third congressional district seat. He is Arthur Jones, an admitted racist who has ties to neo-Nazi groups. ABC 7 Sarah Schulte spoke with him today. He won't give up. For the seventh time, Arthur Jones is running as a Republican in Illinois' third congressional district. The 70-year-old retired insurance agent prides himself as a white supremacist, anti-Semite, who believes the Holocaust didn't exist. It's just an extortion racket. Billions of dollars are extorted by Jews telling tall tales of war and misfortune. Jones' website includes pictures of him at several neo-Nazi rallies. His outspoken views on Mexicans, Africans, and gays are clearly spelled out. In the 3rd District, Jones is the only Republican on the ballot for the March primary, which poses a problem for the Illinois Republican Party. Well, at this point, we just want to let everybody know we're disavowing this disturbed Nazi individual who's running as a Republican who clearly has no place in our party or in our country. I served in the Vietnam War. What have you done, Mr. Snyder? If you like all these others, you're just a gutless wonder, having the, the nerve to call yourself a political leader. Jones will face either incumbent Dan Lipinski or his Democratic challenger, Marie Newman. In the past, the Illinois Republican Party has knocked Jones off the ballot with successful challenges, but this time, Jones was able to get enough viable signatures. I was very careful in getting all those petitions. I went door to door. I spoke to over 2,000 people to get 834 signatures. Illinois Republican Party Chairman Tim Schneider blames gerrymandering for the lack of credible Republican candidates in the 3rd District. He says the district is so Democratic, it's difficult to find Republicans who want to run. And gerrymandering is obviously a problem nationwide, not just in Illinois.